Well, hello, fellow Kubota lovers, and welcome to another Kubota BX25D snippet. Question was asked, how did I uh, attach that bully footrest step um, to my Kubota? So I'm basically going to, uh, I pulled her out, forgive the dirt and the mud because I was up in the woods. Um, doing my logging thing but um, right now I'm gonna try and answer that question with a video let you see where I attached it to the frame on the bottom of the tractor and I will let you see underneath how I attached it with some uh, grade 8 bolts just drilled through the frame. You see the frame right here. I don't know. This is a BX25D, so if you have anything different, let's see if it matches up. But basically, uh, I bought the bully. That was this thing's been on for three years now, and uh, I can't even tell you if I had to drill these right here. But I'm gonna let you see what I did. I drilled and I drilled through the frame. I might have did a little bit of grinding right here to make this sit flush. So if anything, you might have to do that, but that was no big deal to get this to sit flush on here. Let me move this light. Maybe this will help you guys see a little better. Okay. There. And there. Put it in here. And there. So here's the frame that it sits on. And it's just that little cross arm there. So it's not a big deal to do, but if you put it on, uh, I use some aircraft bolts. Uh, and that uh, I've never had to tighten it, never had to mess with it. And that's kind of the way I went about when I put this tractor together three years ago was to make it maintenance free, all the add-ons. And I've done nothing to this tractor except use it other than that little fix I had to do on the um, boom that I broke while out there trying to pull a tree out of a creek. Uh, luckily for me, I had purchased when I bought the tractor full coverage for seven dollars a month on my uh, car insurance. So with that, they paid me. Uh, they wrote me a check for thirteen hundred dollars for all the pieces I replaced in fixing that boom and the bushings and all other crap, and I put it on myself. So I have a bent boom out there in the garage. The extended part that uh, attaches to the bucket not the larger arm the smaller boom and they also gave me enough money to replace a new bucket so I put a new bucket and a new boom and bushings and all that stuff on it but right now this conversation is about the bully footstep okay and of course it works great because you know when you get old and you need to just get a leg up it definitely makes stepping up here and getting in pretty easy. Now, if you're wanting to see this tractor all cleaned up like some people do, ain't going to happen because I'm busy chopping wood out in the cornfields up in the hills. So uh, she's going to be muddy for a while. Of course, for those, yeah, the back tires are loaded with uh, negative 20 degree windshield wiper fluid. And... Uh, I'm carrying probably 300 pounds of weight in my balance box back there. And uh, that'll be it. This snippet is over. Jetman is out.